would showing that other aspect of your life would that be outside of your comfort zone would you say or it's not completely up outside of my comfort zone i think at this point in my life i'm ready to do it years ago i was pro probably a little too shy but um but yeah i'm ready as long as it's the right person that's taking the videos and all that stuff i'm i'm, I'm comfortable with doing that Wonder Girl, welcome to eTalk. It really is a pleasure to have you on the show. This is the first year that YouTube Black Voices Music is opened up to Canadians. So what is what does it mean to you to have a collaboration like this with YouTube? It means a lot because, uh, yeah, like, we're just starting to get a lot of uh, recognition um, just in the past, like, you know, six, five, 10 years actually so it's 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 good to kind of like be a part of this and 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 um be a part of toronto's growth so our canada's growth you know in the music industry absolutely congratulations it, it's it's so big and and social media channel social media channels like clothes or music are really a reflection of, of you. So what can audiences expect from your channel? I guess they can expect a little bit more into like my life. I'm, I'm kind of like um, very closed off when it comes to my career and um, everything else. So I, I think uh, I think they can expect more videos and of, of, of me in my life and more just like music from me, you know, so. You're also going to collaborate with uh, YouTube Shorts, uh, remixing a, a classic song. So what can you tell us about that, if anything? Yeah, I don't know how much I can say about that, but um, yeah, it was, it was cool to, to kind of step out of my, my comfort zone completely and, and create that track for them and um, yeah, doing the shoot with them and all that stuff. So that was, that was, that was really cool. It was, a, it was a, a good experience and I learned a lot from it. I mean, your fan base is huge and, and, and so many people uh, look up to you and are aspiring young producers. What kind of advice would you give to people, you know, trying to make it in the game? And, and maybe even advice that you wish that you had gotten when you were starting out. Well, yeah, advice that I wish I listened to because I got a lot of really good advice, but it just took me a long time to actually like listen to it. Um, but yeah, like really just be yourself. For someone who, who is like me, who is um, kind of like afraid all the time and always thinking about what people thought and um, yeah, just like not sure if it's, if it's the right thing to really just like completely be myself. Um, don't listen to all that, that noise in your head. Don't listen to all that, that, that second person in your head telling you that this isn't, this isn't right. Just do you and, and, and um, yeah, like do what you were put on this world for, to be honest. That's really it. You know, you have other Canadians like Savannah Ray in the artist class, along with 53 other producers and songwriters. So is there anybody on that list or are there a few people on that list that you, that you really want to get into the studio with because you have an opportunity to collaborate with them? I still have to, to look into the whole list and see who's on it. Um, yeah, and then I could probably answer that question, but I love working with, with Savannah for sure. Um, and I'd get in with her any day. <laughs> I'd really say it's 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 really just been a big like learning experience this year and, and the last year, um, because I, I also started like my own um, imprint and I have my I have my own label and, and publishing company now and I've been able to sign producers and artists um, and yeah, that's uh, that's been the biggest part of other than like placements and, and other things. That's that's been the biggest part of um, these past two years for me because it's just been the biggest learning experience. You know, getting into the the business side of myself and learning who that is mm. has um, definitely impacted me a whole lot. So, and I'm just excited to just keep going at that. 